Hi and welcome back to another instalment of the CSR House Project Series. Our external cladding's up and now it's time to start work on the internals. A well designed and insulated home will be comfortable all year round and cut your heating and cooling bills significantly. This not only reduces greenhouse gas emissions, it's part of ensuring you create a healthy home. Insulation is a vital part of an efficient building envelope, which improves your air quality and even helps with acoustics. In a passive solar design, thermal insulation is one of the most important attributes. When you're looking at uh, keeping the heat in in winter or keeping the heat out in summer, conductive heat in particular, you absolutely need thermal insulation. From an insulation point of view, uh, we're looking at simply a temperature difference between inside and outside. So you may apply different levels of insulation in the ceiling as compared to the walls, compared to the flooring, simply because there are different tendencies for heat flow in those elements. In a typical residential house in Australia, uh, the energy component for space heating and cooling is in the order of 38 to 40 percent. Uh, it varies on individual homes, but that's the average. Uh, that corresponds to about 15 percent of CO2 emissions. So depending on what your metric is, uh, you can uh, target uh, reductions accordingly. There are basically two types of insulation, bulk and reflective. Bulk insulation bats mainly resist the transfer of conducted and convected heat. It's made up of millions of fibres which are poor heat conductors. The fibres crisscross each other to form tiny air cells which slow down the transfer of heat. Reflective wraps or membranes, as they are increasingly becoming known, mainly resist radiant heat flow, but also offer a barrier to the outside elements. They work together. The reflective insulation helps keep the house cool and acts as a second skin to the cladding and roof. And the bulk insulation acts in assisting the home to retain a comfortable internal temperature all year round and reduces the energy load costs of heating and cooling. You'll hear the term R value a lot while we're talking about insulation. The R value is insulation's resistance to heat flow. The higher the R value, the better an insulation's effectiveness. It's important to remember that reflective membranes only achieve their R value when installed correctly, with a sufficient air gap on the reflective side. Historically, we have had an Australian standard, but uh, more recently, in a more performance-driven approach, uh, they're looking at the total impact insulation might have uh, on the energy rating of a building. So when you're using tools like Accurate, uh, uh, then you are simply playing with different levels of insulation to see where your balance lies in terms of what ratings you are trying to get. For higher ratings, uh, you may be looking at uh, increasing the levels of insulation beyond what the suggestions used to be, simply because you want to go past six star into seven, eight, nine star buildings, heading towards what is the trend now, which is going towards zero energy buildings. Coupling would be about making sure that the heat that comes in is usefully captured uh, in the mass and then re-released later. So decoupling in that sense means that you try and disconnect the incident radiation from surfaces inside the buildings uh, where they may, when absorbed, cause discomfort, particularly during summer months. To achieve our eight star rating, we're going for the most cost efficient but effective insulation solution. A sarking membrane without a reflective surface helps keep the weather and dust out and can assist as a moisture barrier. In the CSR house, we've chosen a reflective membrane that provides us with an added benefit of increased thermal efficiency. Now that's worth doing. We're using Bradford Enviroseal Rift Tile Plus. This is a radiant barrier used under tiles, which is made up of reinforced aluminium foil, laminated with a fire retardant adhesive to craft paper, and then to a high tensile poly woven fabric. The two main advantages of using sarking membranes are that they provide protection against dirt, dust, drafts, and wind-driven rain or embers, and it also adds to the overall thermal performance of a roof by reducing the radiant heat transfer, reducing heat gain in summer. The Enviroseal wall wrap is made up of a super tough polypropylene film. It acts as a physical barrier to the elements, 
protecting the home from unwanted moisture buildup in the wall cavities during winter, making your overall insulation more efficient. With a properly sealed frame, the barrier that these two sarking membranes provides is a great start to a tight building envelope. The protection from the elements means less, if any, mould and ensures better air quality, which is important if you have any asthmatics or allergy sufferers living in the home. We've got our Enviroseal Roof Tile Plus already installed under the roof tiles, which is a great start. But with up to 42% of heat loss through the ceilings, we're going to need more than that. And if you've got a two-storey house, it pays to think about the mid-floor insulation too. The Hebel floor already provides great thermal and acoustic insulation. But we're also using Bradford's sound screen, which combines the benefits of thermal insulation with the extra density of rock wool to further reduce sound transfer. So you can have noisy kids upstairs, and not hear a thing. For a great ceiling insulation solution, we're using Bradford Gold glass wool bats, rated a NAR value of R4.1 to complement our Enviroseal sarking. This combination can stop around 70% of heat transfer and drastically cut both heating and cooling costs. The bats are made up of no less than 60% of recycled content and unlike imported products, don't cost the environment. Bradford Gold bats are all manufactured here in Australia, so are great for the environment and your budget. Bradford Insulation is also the only accepted insulation partner of the National Asthma Council Australian Sensitive Choice Program, so I offer complete peace of mind. The program recognises companies who develop products that may be better choices for people with asthma or allergies. The next step in achieving our optimal insulation levels is to add cavity insulation. It's not as simple as going out and buying any old product though. You need to think about what sort of solution is required for what type of area being insulated. We're going for the highest R value we can get. But does it also need to block noise as well as heat? For the best thermal performance, we're actually using three different kinds of cavity insulation in the CSR house. Each have different properties. For the external walls, we're using Bradford Gold R2.7 glass wall bats. They offer higher density for extra thermal performance and a lower in profile for tight construction spaces. Once again in the internal walls we're using Bradford Soundscreen R2. Again because we still want the added acoustic insulation for privacy and comfort as well as thermal efficiency. Bradford granulated rock wall insulation has been specially developed for double brick cavity wall homes. It's different and that it's a loose fill installation rather than bats. But once installed, it delivers all the thermal performance of bats and its hydrophobic properties ensure water doesn't move across the cavity while the fibrous rock wool allows the cavity to breathe. If you're living downstairs and you're watching TV or cooking dinner, you don't really need to heat or cool the rest of the home while you're doing that. So to provide that insulation and have, have um, doors to close off that space, you're saving on energy, energy um, running costs. From a builder's perspective, insulation is a very easy product to install. It's quick and simple and doesn't cost very much money, so why wouldn't you do it? Insulating a ceiling is something you can easily do retrospectively. And with energy savings of up to 45%, it's really worth it. Bradford have well-trained installers who can do it for you, or if you want to give it a go yourself, the DIY DVD has everything you need to know. We've gone for an integrated high-end insulation solution here which will save about 80% on heating and cooling costs. It's worth spending as much as you can on insulation. It's only going to save you money in the long run and create a healthier and more efficient home. If you want to know more about Bradford Insulation, check out bradfordinsulation.com.au and for updates on the CSR House Project, have a look at csr.com.au or on YouTube. Leave us a comment or any questions, we'd love to hear from you.